How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. They call me the Toaster and let's get right into today's episode. So today what we are going to be doing is starting an XP farm because I'm finally starting to trade with the librarian villagers and I'm going to need a ton of XP to apply all of their enchanted books to my armor and all of my tools. So I think what I'm going to do... First of all, uh, before I start my XP farm, I need to fix my pickaxe. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm just going to get another pickaxe from one of these villagers. I need 31. Perfect. And then I'm just going to merge these two in an anvil and be able to restore some durability to my pickaxe. So for my XP farm, what I've decided to do is I'm going to build a zombie piglin farm in the overworld the one where you have the nether portal turning on and then off again um and then it just ends up you know zombie piglins end up spawning and when you kill them okay wait this costs three if i do it this way and if i do this one this way okay no it's going to cost way more okay so i'll do it like this perfect brand new pickaxe ready to go so i am going to get started on that um, some things that I do need to get for that farm is a trident. Uh, I don't need it right away, but it would be really nice to have. And I also need like a ton of obsidian. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to bed because it is nighttime and I am feeling very tired right now. So good night. And good morning. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is plan out the area for this over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend it this way. So let's dig up to the surface over here. I do have to build this above ground because the nether portals need to be really big. Uh, they're going to be 25 blocks by 25 blocks. And I don't really feel like digging all of that out underground. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dig up over here until I get to the surface and that should be relatively soon do I have any torches here yes I do all right so let's break all the way up to the surface well, am I digging like into a mountain imagine I don't get out until like like Y level 100 I'm just gonna dig signal file here okay all right perfect okay excellent so I need to keep things consistent so remember, the ultimate goal of my base is that I outline this one chunk in here and I want to be able to stand inside of this one chunk and have all of my farms around me working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to make sure that this farm doesn't go out too, too far. So let's see. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is the end right over here. This block is the end. And I'm just going to outline this. And then this one over here is the start of a new one. Okay. So now... Now that I have this above ground, this is going to be really good, actually. So let's just make the staircase for this first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out this area and I'm going to put some stairs in here right away. And done. So now that I have finally finished this staircase over here and I even cleared out another chunk area over here. So I'm ready to start this build. It's going to be really cool. So if you guys are excited for this, you know what you got to do. You got to hit that like button. You got to hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. So I'm going to build this thing in parts. And the first thing that I'm going to build is the collection chamber where I'm going to put all of my uh, golden nuggets. So I'm going to have a double chest for that. So let's just make a couple of chests over here. Uh, I can make seven chests. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm going to have a double chest to collect my stuff. And I'm going to need a ton of hoppers. Let's see what I have in here. I already have one hopper. I'm going to need four pistons for the trident killer. And what else am I going to need? Uh, I will need some redstone. Absolutely. Some redstone torches. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to need a whole bunch of redstone stuff, to be honest. All right, so let's make a lot of hoppers because I'm going to need... Let's see, I need four for the trident killer, and then I need three more. So let's just make ten. Uh, each one takes five. So if I do 50 like that, then I should be able to make... Uh, 10 hoppers. Oh yeah, because I only have that many chests. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so let's just make a little bit more chests. Turn this planks. 8 more chests, perfect. I'm going to make one more hopper just to have 10, because you never know. Alright, next I'm going to need um, a lot of repeaters. So to make repeaters, I'm going to need just regular stone. And what was the uh, recipe for them again? Oh yeah, I don't need 12 of them, but let's start with 6 for now, and I'm also going to need a couple of comparators. Uh, let's see, that's with the quartz. How many comparators can I make? 5? Uh, I think that'll be good for now. Alright, perfect. Uh, anything else that I need right now? Um, I think that should be it. Oh, no, actually, this goes over there inside of this stuff. And what do I have in here? More sticks? Oh, I have a little bit more stuff in here. That's fine. We'll deal with that another time. All right, so let's get started um, with the first section. So ideally, what happens is when you kill a whole bunch of zombie piglins, they drop swords, flesh, and the nuggets. And I just want the nuggets. So... I'm going to come up here. I'm going to do one, two, three. I'm going to start it right over here. All right. So then next I'm going to need the pistons. And let's get my inventory ready for this. Repeaters with the comparators. All right. So I'm going to have one of the chests like that. And I'm going to need a little bit of building materials. We're going to put one hopper facing away like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to make it out of stone bricks. Just in case I end up leaving it like this. Then outside of here, I'm going to have a comparator. With a block like this. And then I need some redstone. Where's my redstone? Yeah, right over here. One, two... And then I got to come down underneath, just like this. So I'm going to place one redstone torch on just like that. And I'm going to need one of the repeaters facing like this. All right, looks like it is becoming nighttime and I don't want to build in the night. So let me just quickly switch the day. All right, so now I also went to go get a little bit of uh, golden nuggets. So what happens is when I put the golden nuggets in like this, you see it's going to filter them out and then just put them directly inside the chest. So then what I'm going to have is a little conveyor system where the um, hoppers are going to be on top, just like this. So if I put one block like this and a hopper like this, okay, perfect. So now this one is going to be the main hopper. Everything is going to filter through here. So a golden nugget will fall down into the system below and anything else I want to filter it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make a dropper. I'm going to get a cauldron with some lava so I can just immediately uh, dispose of that stuff. So let's see. For a cauldron, I'm going to need iron. Let's make that. Uh, make one of those. I also need a dropper. Do I have any more redstone? Yeah. One dropper. Anything else? Uh, yeah, I can make some sticks. I need a bit more redstone torches as well. Okay, and I need a bucket of lava, which I have a ton of those downstairs. All right, perfect. So let's keep that going. I'm just going to go grab uh, one of my buckets of lava right from here. Perfect. I'm sure no one's even going to know it's missing. Okay, so the dropper needs to be facing downwards into the cauldron, just like this. So I'm going to put a cauldron, 
and then I'm going to put the lava in there and then I'm going to put the dropper facing downwards. So to do that, what I need to do is place a block like that, place one on top and then have this pointing downwards. Perfect. So now what I need to do is to make a system so that when anything is inside of this dropper, it dispenses into the, uh, the cauldron below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a comparator. I'm going to put a repeater right after it. And then I'm going to make this little staircase over here so that I can put some redstone just like this. Redstone goes just like that. And put one block up like this. Perfect. So now, do I have anything I want to throw away? Yeah, I'll throw away a little bit of dirt. So if you see, if I put, I'll just put five dirt in here. Perfect. You see that all the dirt gets dispensed into the cauldron below and immediately gets disposed of. So that all the rotten flesh is going to go in there. All of the swords, golden swords that I don't want, is also going to go in there. All right, so this is it for the first little part of it. Um, so next, what I'm going to need to do is to make the part with the actual trident killer. So that's going to need to be above. And let me just check how I made that in my creative world. So for the trident killer, what I needed was four observers. So I'm just going to make those really quick as well. And uh, let's see, observer. No, I definitely don't need 20 of them. I just need four. So here, I'm going to make four of those. And I also need a lever. Um, let's see. I'm going to make four levers just in case. Okay, am I running out of redstone? I can't believe this. It looks like I am. Wow, it's crazy. I might have to go on a mining trip just to go and get some redstone. <laughs> okay. So the trident killer is pretty standard, to be honest. So the way that it works is that you have a two by two area. So we're going to have uh, two by two of hoppers all pointing into the one main hopper over here. And then we're just going to have... Oh, I need to build around it. So actually, this one needs to be a repeater as well. All right. Now what we're going to do is build a little platform all around it. Just like this. Right? Now I need a way to get up there. <laughs> build the staircase just like this. Yeah, perfect. Okay. So the trident killer, it takes four pistons. So the pistons need to be placed like this so that when they trigger they'll like circle the trident around and then the observer just needs to be placed into each one of those like that with four redstone in the corners one two four all right now if i put a lever over here and I flick it like that. Okay, this kind of works. Let me just turn this off and then turn this back on. Okay. Okay, so this just looks a little bit weird, but I think that this will be a quick fix. But that'll be for next episode because I think this is a great place to end this video. So if you liked it, please leave me a like, leave me a comment, tell me what you think, and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. All right. Have an awesome day. Oh, and check that out. I actually got three iron golems in the background right there. All right. Toaster out.